Hold on, I'm getting there. <laughs> that was freaking insane. This has been a pretty nuts feeding night. This is a good night to film feeding, man. This has been all kinds of snakes missing and going crazy. This, is, this has been fantastic. The moment that I've really been waiting for here is seeing Roxanne's first feeding here with us. Hello! Hi, friends and family. What's going on, folks? This morning, I've been scrubbing and cleaning. My father-in-law is coming to town. I don't know about you guys, but when somebody's coming to visit, I like the house to be even cleaner than it was already before they even get here. So anyway, I didn't film that because who wants to see that? Nobody. Lots happening today. Lots of updates. We're going to be feeding lots of snakes because we haven't done a snake feeding video in quite some time, I don't think. So I just want to do it. And plus, we had all these rabbits over here thawing out yesterday that some of you guys were like, why didn't you feed those rabbits? You thawed them out? You didn't feed them? The rabbits we thaw for two days because they're big and they're bulky and they need a little extra thawing time and then we got the rats here we're gonna feed some snakes we're also gonna be feeding the tegu for the first time since she's been here regarding that remember our new policy around here uh, if you feel like and moaning remember to uh, shut the f because <laughs> you don't want flies getting in the room I really like that new policy. Thanks, Brandon. Updates are as follows if you uh, saw the previous video where I got a shirt that was way too small <laughs> Carpet Fest is right around the corner. It's about to happen. Speaking of Carpet Fest, I was just filming some Triple B TV and I remembered our, our carpet python, Holly, had shed out and she's, uh, I just wanted to show her since, since Carpet Fest is coming right up. She's our token carpet python. Without her, we would probably not be hosting Carpet Fest. It's because of this girl that we're actually hosting this year. If it wasn't for her, like I said, we would be out of the running for hosting Carpet Fest. I figured, you know, you probably should have at least one carpet python if you're hosting Carpet Fest, but... Yeah, we got this girl from my buddy Travis Johnson over there living legless. He actually is hatching out some more uh, coastal carp pythons right now. If you want a beauty like this, you can go hit up Travis. I will put the link in the description. See, so yeah, I told you guys, we got lots of updates today. If you're coming and you have not replied to the Facebook group yet and RSVP'd, you need to do that. And hopefully, you've got one of these awesome shirts to wear when you come. Because awesome shirts are cool and they're cool and I'm... Yeah, there we go. I'm actually really excited about Carpet Fest. You guys are probably wondering, how do you have so many updates and smudges on your lens? We're not slow, we keep it going. There's always something happening every day. Speaking of which, we are doing videos every day, so make sure you turn on your notifications so you can jump in and possibly be part of giveaways like this Cocoa Blocks giveaway we're doing today. So remember to do that. Other update, just in case you missed it, the queen did lay eggs, so we are going to be feeding her. Oh, heavy. We are going to be trying to feed her today, even though it's only been, like, she just laid them earlier this week, but we're going to see if that process really works of cleaning the egg smell off of her and getting her into new substrate and a new enclosure, a new tub, and see if she's ready to eat. She, oh, she looks ready to eat already. Look at that. So here's the queen's clutch, just in case you missed it. We pulled these on the day that I got locked up, if you missed that video. Eli helped me pull the eggs and we just left them lay as she laid them and pulled them out. We didn't candle them or anything. We just kind of let her make sure that she had them right side up. It's another step towards uh, me getting comfortable with maternal incubation is just let mom do the job and we just pull them out. And you can see that boo bag started to get a little bit mildewy. So I put a little bit of uh, this stuff on it. This athlete's foot powder. Thank you, Jerry Robertson. And yeah, all right, cover them back up, get them back in the incubator. I told you we had lots of updates and I'm not done yet. Our most serious update of updates is if you have not ordered your cocoa blocks yet, which is currently the number one coconut substrate on the reptile market, not because it, Jesse paid for the top quality from Sri Lanka, not because this logo was designed beautifully by yours truly. Nope, nothing to do with that. It actually has nothing to do with reptile keeping at all. Hold on a second, let me show you. My top light's not on. Gosh, I have to start the whole video over. The number one reason to use Coco Blocks is because it instantly earns you the respect of your peers. Instantly, let me show you how. Hold on, I'm getting there. You supply something adhesive to your face. I don't care, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be tape, it could be glue, whatever you're working with. You stick some of the Cocoa Blocks to it, and then bam, instantly. Look, my respect levels are soaring through the roof right now. You could be getting this much respect too. Just make sure that you got your Cocoa Blocks and then just stick it to your face and you're, you're in it to win it, dude. You're winning, look at, look at all this respect I'm earning right now. Speaking of respect, as far as getting this free uh, sample block right here, just make sure you comment down below with, what it takes for somebody to earn your respect and keep it. What are the qualities in a person that make you respect them and keep their respect no matter what they do? Comment down below, I'll be sending that block out to you guys. All right, my respect, I'm getting a little too much respect around here. I need to dumb it down a little bit. <laughs>
Hey, speaking of Coco Blocks and respect, I wanted to give a little shout out to the new homie over there, Josh, at the AEP family doing the videos over there. Hey, man, it, a little constructive criticism. I just I just watched that video, and a little constructive criticism goes a long way. But if people are just talking sh man, just ignore it, bro. You're doing a good job, man. It's you know obviously there's always room for improvement, and no matter what you do, and and the people that are that are giving you constructive criticism, good, because you just listen to some of that stuff. In fact, Miguel said you're probably coming to Pomona. I'm gonna. Give you some tips on using a glide cam and some other stuff like that and maybe help out your your video editing game editing somebody else's videos not easy man even editing your own videos is a challenge probably a lot of those people hate now you have never tried to edit a video in their life don't realize how hard it is i just want to give you some words of support encourage you to come over to my booth at pomona and i'll, I'll show you a couple little tips and because i know miguel wanted to hire me at one point for doing stuff and i was just too cool at the time so sorry miguel <laughs> I still love you, bro. He told me that people were like DMing you on Instagram and throwing hate, and I was like, dude, that's ridiculous, man. The kid's kid's trying his best, dude. So just a couple words of support. Also, any of you guys that are watching this video that were one of the ones DMing Josh, did, you guys need to tape some Coco Blocks to your face. Give that a try. See what happens. Josh, I got a new phrase that I learned from my buddy Brandon just a couple days ago. It's been really helping me out, so you should try it too. If somebody comes in DM you like that, you just tell them to shut the f and go outside with the rest of the flies to eat I have my father-in-law just got here. We're gonna take the boys to the Mid-State Fair and as soon as we get back, we're gonna do all this feeding, heating, weeding, meeting. You guys ready? Let's do it. Classic Mid-State Fair action is hot, is crowded, it's noisy. I love it, yes. So we're gonna run around here for a bit and I'm gonna ask Steve the same question I ask you guys. Oh. Hey Steve. Yeah. So I've been asking everybody today what, tra what traits or qualities they look for in a person they respect. As a person that you are, as a person that I respect a lot, and not just as a grandfather and a father, and just as a contributing member of society in general, I'd be curious to know what, what traits you consider respectable in another person. I believe that people who put others above themselves are, is a very important characteristic. I think somebody who wants, regardless of others' views, will listen to others and make sure that all the decisions they make are not just for selfish reasons, it's for, for the better of everybody, whether it be the family or society, and those are things I find very respectful of personally. See, I knew I'd get a great answer out of you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Grandpa, I want to go in this. Well, um, okay, let's see. Hey Noah. What? what? What do you know? I know. Turtles. What about turtles? Yeah. What about turtles? That they're slow and they eat grass and maybe some fish and they have shells and they're turtles and tortoises and that's all I know. Hey Eli. What? What do you know? I know. Robots. What about robots? That they go in outer space and they walk on outer space. Some rovers go in outer space. <laughs> that's all I know. Wow. 
Well, even though I found this nice cool zone here, it's about time for me to get back to the house. Leonard Skinner is playing tonight, but uh, you need tickets for that, separate tickets. And I'm not gonna, I've seen Skinner before anyway, so not too big a deal. I gotta get back, feed, we're doing the Patreon live stream, and yeah, feeding, let's go. Ah, there's something about going places that makes it even nicer to come home sometimes. I mean, I like I like being in crowds sometimes and fairs and whatnot, but it's like anytime you go into a place where you have to be wanded down with metal detectors and whatnot, it, it makes you a little bit uneasy. It makes it feel nice to come back home too. So, uh, I used to be such a terrible, terrible person in crowds. Now I'm much more comfortable than I used to be. That's for sure. So grateful for that. Before we get into this feeding, since we seem to be on the subject of, of respect today, I just want to say that for me, respect is definitely a two-way street. If you if you expect respect from people, you have to be able to, to give respect as well, you know? So it's, it's something I'm constantly learning, like different levels of respect. They come, they change. Life is an ever-flowing ocean of emotions. It is constantly changing. So it's a, it's a constant learning process. And I try to be respectful of all of our subscribers and people down in the comments seem to be fairly respectful respectful of me too. Um, I'd say we've got one of the most respectful comment sections in on YouTube uh, that I've seen. You know, we're probably like 99% of comments are really awesome. We got that 1%. Hmm. <laughs> but no, but we're, but we're well above the curve, so I'm very grateful for that. Yeah, I guess that's, that's enough blabbing for me. We should probably just get into this feeding thing now. Feeding any snake is just like wow, but feeding retix is like wow. Check out Patsy LaRue, she's gonna do a time lapse feeding for you guys. Swing and a miss! Strike two. Casey at bat, reference anyone? Ah, we'll come back to her. But she doesn't take this week, guarantee she'll take next week. Freaking insane! This has been a pretty nuts feeding night. This is a good night to film feeding, man. This has been all kinds of snakes missing and going crazy. This is this has been fantastic. The moment that I've really been waiting for here is seeing Roxanne's first feeding here with us. Brenda did say that if she didn't get it head first, then it might be a little bit of a challenge trying to uh, get her to drag it down, which seems to be the case for sure. But, uh, you know, I'll just uh, keep trying. I'm sure she'll be fine. At least she's chomping on it. That's obviously a good sign. So, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. I, I hope you had a, a good time here with us today. And respect. Sorry, little crickets. 
You're getting all dusty with calcium. I guess you're about to die anyway, so. <laughs> Live death. <laughs> 